Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, the ratio of the ages of the father and the son at present is 6 is to 1. After 5 years, the ratio will become 7 is to 2. What is the present age of the son? So here also, you can apply a shortcut formula. So what is the given question? The ratio between the father and the son at present is given. And after 5 years, how this ratio will change? A slight variation of the question which we discussed in the previous videos. In the previous video, it was how many times? How many times the father's age was that of son? So here the whole ratio is given. So father to son. So father to son's ratio is given. It is 6 is to 1 at present. And after 5 years, it will become equal to 7 is to 2. Then you have to find out what is the present age of the son. So here also you can apply a shortcut formula. So I will tell you how to do it. So here also you have to do present age and after 5 years. That should be your raw values. Present and after 5 years. And here you can write the ratio. Father is to son. So always you have to write here father is to son or mother is to daughter. So everything you have to write the ratio as same. Even if it is given son to father means you have to convert father to son. So present and after 5 years. At present the ratio let it be equal to x is to y. And after t years. So let, let me write here t. Let me write the general formula first. And after t years let the ratio become equal to a is to b. So now your table is complete. So at present and after t years what is the ratio of father to son? x is to y, a is to b. Then you can directly find out son's age. So first son's age will be equal to y into, y you have to write, y is coming here. So y into t into, you have to find out the difference between the a and b. So I am writing here a minus b, always it will be positive. So just I am writing here a, a minus b. So y into t into a minus b a will be always greater than b because we are always taking father to son ratio. Okay, so y, t into a minus b divided by the difference of the cross product. What is the meaning of that? You have to take the cross product here x into b and a into y. This cross product you have to take and you have to take the difference. Difference of the cross product. So you just remember difference of cross product. So that is why we are writing like this. So taking the cross product will be much easier. And father's age also you can directly find out. Father's age is equal to x into instead of y x will come. So x into t into a minus b divided by difference of the cross product. So this is how you can find out the father's age and son's age. We will do many more problems in this. So you will be more thorough with this formula. So let me apply this formula here. So here what will happen? So here at present father is to son ratio is 6 is to 1 and after t years, so here t will be equal to 5. So after 5 years the ratio will become equal to 7 is to 2. So what is son's age? Son's age will be equal to this one, this value 1, y into that is 1 into t, t is 5, 1 into t into difference between this a and b. So here it is a is to b means difference between 7 and 2, 7 minus 2 into difference of the cross product. If, uh, cross product is 6 into 2 minus 7 into 1. So 6 into 2 minus 7 into 1. So what you will be getting? So 1 into 5 into 5 divided by 12 minus 5 is equal, 12 minus 7 is equal to 5. So son's age is equal to 5 years. The present age of son is only asked. So son's age is equal to 5 years. So, but just for understanding, I will find out the father's age also here. So, father's age, it is, it is very easy. Just you have to change this 1 as 6 here. 1, you have to change as 6. Rest all the terms you can write as such. So, 6 into 5 into 5 divided by 5. So, it will be equal to 30 years. So, that is one advantage. Finding out father's age is much more easier. You just replace the first value alone. Rest everything will remain as such. Question number 2. The ratio of the ages of Sam's father and Sam at present is 3 is to 1. 4 years earlier the ratio was 4 is to 1. Find the present ages of Sam and his father. So here also the relation between Sam's father 
and Sam's age is given. Sam's father's age and Sam at present and 4 years earlier what was the ratio, at present what is the ratio. So 4 years earlier, so we can find out by using the shortcut. So first you have to write at present and then 4 years ago. So that is how you should complete. So Sam's father is to Sam. What is the ratio given? So what is the ratio at present? At present the ratio is 3 is to 1. And 4 years earlier what was the ratio? 4 is to 1. So this row, row order also you should remember exactly present and then past. First you have to write the present and then you have to write the past. Then you can apply the formula. Sam's age will be equal to this value y. So this value into t. t is 4. 4 into difference between these two a minus b. So 4 minus 1 divided by difference of the cross product. So here the difference of cross product is 4 into 1 minus 3 into 1. So 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Okay. So this is Sam's age and what is father's age? Father's age only one term will be different instead of 1 here 3 should come. So 3 into 4 into 4 minus 1 divided by 4 minus 3. So what we will be getting? Sam's age will be equal to 4 into 3. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 and father's age is equal to 3 into 4 into 3. So Sam's present age will be 12 years and father's present age will be 36 years. Now question number 3. The ratio of the ages of Ashok and Binni is 3 is to 11. After 3 years, the ratio becomes 1 is to 3. What are the ages of Ashok and Binni? So here the present age and the future ages are given. The relationship between the present ages and the relationship between the future ages are given. Here also the formula everything is remaining same. So present and 3 years after. So the future always you have to write the present as the first raw value. Whether it, it, be, whether it be the past or the future values given you have to write the present as the first raw value. So Ashok is to Binni. So the ratios are given. At present what is the ratio? 3 is to 11. And after 3 years the ratio will be equal to 1 is to 3. So what is Binni's age? Or what is Ashok's age? Let us find out Ashok's age first. So Ashok's age is equal to 3 into 3 into t. t is 3. The difference between a and b. So 1 minus 3. Or sorry 3 minus 1. Always it should be positive. So, 3 minus 1. When it is father and son means, okay, you can uh, very well uh, memorize the formula A minus B. But here it is the relationship between Ashok and Binni's age. Just two persons. They are not having any relationship with each other. So, any ratio it can come. So, you, can, you have to find out the difference. Always it should be positive. That way you can remember. The difference between the cross products. 3 into 3 is 9. And uh, 1 into 11, 9 minus 11, 11 minus 9, it should be positive. So, 11 minus 9 is equal to 2. So, which is equal to 3 into 3 into 2 divided by 2. And what is Binni's age? So, Binni's age, there will be only one difference. Instead of 3 here, 11 will come. So, 3 will be replaced by 11. So, 11 into 3 into 2 divided by 2. So, from that what you will be getting? What is Ashok's age? Ashok's age is equal to? 9 years and Binny's age is equal to 33 years. Thank you for watching.